You and I have heard that story, haven't we? The popular story about a child who's afraid in the dark, and he exemplifies our human need for God's presence to be discernible in people, in things and events that are close to us. And so like Elijah and his disciples in our readings today, we need God with skin on. So let's tell the story. Jeffrey had been very excited about having his own room in the new house until it came time for bed. On his first night, when they moved in, his father prayed with him. He kissed him. He tucked him in good night. He turned off the light and he walked downstairs. Suddenly, Jeffrey realized that he was all alone. Within moments, he was out of his bed and he ran into his father's arms. What's wrong, Jeffrey said. His dad, don't you like your new room? Yes, but I don't like being alone in there. Don't worry, don't worry, you're not alone. God is always right by your side. I know, Daddy, but I'm still afraid. Can I sleep with you tonight? But don't you believe that God is there to keep you safe, Jeffrey? Yes, Daddy, but I need God with skin on. There are times for sure that all of us feel that we want a God with skin on, especially when we're frightened or we're alone, maybe in a dark place in our life. And so like the disciples, we want a voice to comfort us and to hold our hand. Today's scriptures illustrate the many ways in which God comes very close to us human beings to save us. And we can experience God's nearness in times of trouble through this warm embrace and this calm, calming voice of those who love us. Even through the prophets, the scriptures, worship and prayer, and of course, most especially, the warm embrace of Jesus Christ, the Son of God.